Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, another Shop My Stash video. We are going to pick new products to use this week and go through the products I used last week and what I thought of them. And yeah, I feel like this video is starting to get repetitive. I wonder what other way I could start these videos. So, welcome to everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so, the first thing I have here is this Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I can definitely smell, like, the rose. It has a pretty unique scent. I don't know. It doesn't remind me of the scent of the Mario Badescu spray, but it has... I feel like it just smells clean, like soap a little bit too, though. So, I don't know. It's an okay... Um, makeup mist I don't know it's the scent isn't my favorite but right now um yeah I'm just gonna put this away and then I also did finish up this milk makeup hydro grip primer that I am going to put in my empties you guys know I like this I think this is good for the summertime where I'm going to be a little more oily if you're dry I don't think this would be good because I feel like it sucked all of my oils and really kept my oils in check so I feel like <coughs> This primer would be really good during the summertime. It's also really, it is kind of tacky, so I think it holds up the makeup really well. And I think that is all that's in this, in, um, in the top. Next up, I have the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. This is an okay mascara. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad either. I guess a wand. It looks like this. Um, I do find that sometimes uh, the wand kind of gets a little clumpy, so I do kind of clean the edges and stuff. But I do see, like, volumizing, but not so much lengthening. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I don't know. It's it's okay. <laughs> and then for lippy products, I used this Jeffree Star in Family Jewels, which is nice. Um, I also did use this Luxe Lipstick in Better Off. I used this in my video, my Jeffree Star video, and it's beautiful. We are going to put this away as well. And then um, this one I still have yet to use, the Maple Lipstick by Bite Beauty, so I guess we can leave that in there. For liners this week, we had four liners. Um, the first one is the Kat Von D Cake Pencil. It's just in a black shade, Trooper Black. This is super pigmented. It's pretty long-lasting as well. I do like that. Um, I have two from Ardency In. I have Jade and Hot Pink. These are really nice. I like these to wear on like my waterline to kind of have like a pop of color on the lower lash line and then this one you guys know I love is by Urban Decay it's the torch liner we'll put that away uh, I have two pencils I'm almost done with my LA girl so I'm gonna leave that in there um this it cosmetics brow powder it's not my favorite I do find that it's kind of on the stiff side like you really need to kind of apply it because look if you go light-handed you can't really see it so you kind of have to like put pressure is what I'm trying to say, um, so you can see it on the brows. But this isn't my favorite um, brow products, but we are going to put that away and back in the collection. I also did use my Tarte Man Eater Liquid Liner. I do like this, but again, we're going to pick something new. I didn't use my ColourPop Lip Liner in Poison, so we'll leave that in there. And then the last thing in here is this Benefit Gimme Brow. I feel like this is about done, but I'm going to keep going at it. Maybe another week, and for sure next week we will put it in the empties. Down here I have complexion products. So for powder I use this NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and I wanted to use this because um, it's in my project pan and I wanted to use some but again it's the end of the week so we'll put that away. Um, for bronzer I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. For medium deep skin tones and this is what it looks like. I really enjoyed this. It gave a really pretty bronze look to my skin. Next up is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in the pressed version in translucent. I'm actually going to leave this in another week because I only used it a few times. But let me tell you guys that the both times that I used it, my pores were pretty much like gone. This is an amazing product, but again, I only use it twice, so I want to keep using it. I have this blush by L'Oreal. It's a true match blush in the shade Subtle Sable. This is a really pretty blush and it's really pigmented. A lot of people have been raving about these blushes, reasoning why I picked this one up. I actually wanted Apricot Kiss and ended up with Subtle Sable because this was in the Apricot Kiss like at Walmart and I just grabbed it and even checked to see if it was what I wanted. But this is nice, so we'll put that away. I feel like this color is more for like winter like fall time so it was still nice so we'll put that away i had two concealers this week the first one is the beach cosmetic studio pro total coverage concealer this is in the shade 106 this is very thick i remember 
loving this concealer. It has really good high coverage. Um, I like pretty much full coverage concealers just because I have dark circles and I hate correcting my dark circles. So I always prefer a full coverage concealer. But this is th on the thicker side. So if you don't like thick concealers, you probably won't like this. But it is full coverage. Um, next up is this Huda Beauty the Overachiever Concealer, and I have mine in Coconut Flakes. This is really nice, and it also does have like a middle applicator um, to apply it, and it's nice, a little cooling, because to be honest, I just kind of squeeze the product and apply it. I don't really like disperse it with the middle applicator, but this is also full coverage. It's not as thick as the BH Cosmetics I found, but it's a really good concealer as well. We'll put that away. For foundation is this CoverGirl True Blend M in the shade M80. This is more on the heavier side on me, and I only applied one pump, and still by the end of the day, it looked kind of like heavy and just like it was kind of blotchy on my skin. This is definitely a foundation that I probably could declutter and wouldn't miss, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. Maybe in my next declutter, it I will declutter it. Um, for primer this week, I had the Fenty Beauty Primer. Um, the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I only use this a few times because I was actually focusing on my Kat Von D primer. Because again, I'm doing an update for my 19 and 2019. And I only use this a few times. But both times I used it, I really liked how my skin looked. It looked nice and smooth. But again, we're going to put that away. And then again, my Laura Mercier sample. My No Excuses Primer that I don't use. And my Tarte Cut Corrector that's in my Project Pen is still in there. In here, I actually didn't use this. This is the Wet n Wild Bed of Roses. So I think I'm going to leave this. I'm going to take it out because this week we're going to have a theme for this Shop My Stash. And I'll let you guys know here in a bit. But we're going to put this away back in my new makeup drawer and pick a new eyeshadow palette to use. I also used this a few times. This is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. And this is super pigmented and beautiful. I didn't have any issues with this. But... I only use like two shades out of this palette, so again, I'm going to leave this in here as well. And then I used this a few times. This is a Maybelline Soda Pop palette, and this is really nice. I really enjoyed it. I also didn't use all of the shades, but we do have a theme going on this week, so we are going to put this away. And I actually like the shades I used. It wasn't bad. It was actually a really nice uh, palette from the drugstore. Um, this is the ColourPop Supernova Shadow in Lucky Penny. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is getting chunky. I'm sad because this is an even six months old and it's getting chunky and I am finding that it's harder to kind of apply on the lids. Like it's drying out and it's getting chunky. So what I'm going to do instead of putting it back in my collection, I'm just going to put it up here and try to have some more use out of that in the next few weeks hopefully because I feel like it's not going to last too much longer so I want to definitely get some use out of that. Um, for highlight, I use this Ofra highlighter in all of the lights. It has Blissful, Star Island, Rodeo Drive, and I don't remember what else. But this is very blinding and really pretty. We are going to put this away. And then for highlight also, I had this Persona Cosmetics Cali Glow Highlight in Zuma. And this, I find that you don't really have to swirl your brush a lot because it's really powdered and I can see that I kind of tapped off my brush. And all this is like kickback from my brush. So it's really like um, finely milled and you don't need to again swirl your brush in there because just kind of going a few times side to side. The highlight packs onto the brush so I would, wouldn't recommend you guys again swirling your brush because you can get some fallout but this is a really pretty highlighter. I also had this Tardius Pro Glow and Blush by Tarte. Um, it's just like a blush and highlighting palette. Um, but this is what the shades look like. You get a highlight and four blushes. And I believe the top is a bronzer. But actually you kind of mixed it with a, um, some of the blush shades. And I did enjoy this. The highlight's actually really nice. This is what the highlight looks like in there. And I just watched one of the blushes. But it's actually really blinding and really pretty highlight. So I did like this a lot. So we are going to put this away and pick new products. So in this week's Shop My Stash, we're going to do a theme. I'm going to change it up a little bit since the VIB sale is kind of like... Actually, it, it, by the time you see this video, it had started for Rouge already on Friday. So I kind of want to do some recommendations of products that are in my collection and what I would recommend you guys 
um, pick up during these sales. So um, definitely, I love the Huda Beauty palette. This one's really nice, what I've used, but I really love like the Topaz one and Ruby. Those two are my favorites. But since I only did use this a few times, I do want to leave this in my stash for another week. And then I also want to use this powder again by It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Pores. Um, this is so far a really good powder. I would recommend you guys picking it up just the two times that I've used it. I can definitely tell a difference with my pores. So if you suffer from large pores after powder and you still can see pores, I would recommend this. So I didn't use these two a lot this week. So I want to put this in my stash this week. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom drawer because I've been wanting to pull this. But every time I get down here, I already pulled other stuff. So this is definitely one I would recommend you guys picking up during the VIB sale. This is the Becca Chloe Times Malika palette. This is the Chloe palette. And this is beautiful. These are the shades you get in here. You get a highlight, two blushes, and this bronzer, which is kind of like a satin finish. But this is beautiful, something I've been, again, wanting to use for a while. And I would definitely recommend you guys picking this up during the sale so you can get a discount. Um, let's go ahead and pick a glitter. These ones are a little pricier. I actually find it kind of hard to pick these up like at full price because I feel like $20 a pop is kind of a lot for a glitter. I would actually recommend you guys picking up like the mini sets because these ones dry out so imagine like this much like it would be very unfortunate for these to dry out and you have all this product left over. If the ColourPop ones are like drying out and they're only $6 and hurt my pocket like these ones would definitely hurt my pocket even more. But these ones are definitely something I would recommend you guys getting again but I would recommend like the little sets to get instead. For liner in here, I would definitely recommend you guys getting this roller liner by Benefit. This is one of my favorite um, liners, high-end liners. I also would recommend you guys getting the Kat Von D Trooper liner. This one's also a really good one to pick up. So since I recently used the Benefit roller liner, I'm actually going to take the Kat Von D Trooper. And then I would also recommend you guys picking up like these Urban Decay pencils they're really nice and they have a whole bunch of colors i think that probably like 50 colors so i would definitely recommend those another one that's a favorite of mine is the steel liner the smudge stick waterproof eyeliner i don't know if they still sell these but this deep fuchsia shade is really pretty as well i think we're gonna take this this week and i think that is all for highlight i don't think i'm gonna pick one but one that i really like is this one by jouet this is the citrine highlight um, these ones are really nice and creamy. I need to repress this, you guys. I always say that, but look how bad it's getting. Like, I need to repress it. Your skin just looks really beautiful and glowy. It's just really nice highlight. This is definitely one of my favorites from Sephora. Let's just go ahead and use it this week. Again, this is one of my favorites and I would recommend this. We do have a couple blushes in my... Chloe palette, but one that I would recommend if you guys are looking for just a blush palette would be this one by NARS. This is the exposed cheek palette. You don't want like a super pigmented blush or you want something that you can build up. This one is definitely one that's nice. This one's nice because it's more on the warm tone side. If you like more warm tone blushes than cool tone blushes, this is a really nice one. Again, you get five blushes and a highlight and that highlight's actually really pretty. Um, It doesn't look thick on the cheekbones or anything and these other ones build up really nicely as well if you want like a light wash of color this is really nice and then if you want if you want to build it up you can as well but this one's definitely one that i would recommend for bronzer this week i'm actually going to take this mark jacobs omega bronzer this is just in the limited edition packaging um this is one that would be nice to pick up during a sale just because it's really expensive and here's what that looks like as you can see i have like very minimal wear on this and this is another product that I've been wanting to use and pick, but a lot of people love it. I think if you want to pick up a high-end bronzer, like during the sale is a time that you should pick up a high-end bronzer. So we are going to pick this. And actually, I would definitely recommend this one by Too Faced. This is the Sweethearts Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer and Sweet Tea. If you like luminous bronzers, this one's a really 
<laughs> nice one. This is what the inside looks like. So you kind of get a duo. You can use them separate or swirl your brush in there and use them together if you want like a really nice glowy bronzer. This one is definitely one that I love and would recommend. For powder this week, my favorite, if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you guys should know that it's this one by Too Faced. The Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. This is beautiful on the skin. Your skin looks airbrushed and super pretty and really nice. The only thing that I did find that it does have flashbacks. So if you're going to take pictures or take pictures at night, professional pictures, I wouldn't recommend it. Just again, because I didn't notice it had flashback. But I actually want to use this one. I've used it a few times, but I've been hearing a lot of people like rave about it. I don't remember loving it that much and I kind of thought about returning it but I don't have the box anymore so I can't so this is the uh, powder I'm going to use just for those people that, that really been enjoying this I want to go ahead and test it out and see because they see the whole like your skin looking so beautiful and smooth and pretty kind of like the Too Faced one but I want to use this one this week so we'll take that for primer I definitely recommend this one. I got this from Octoly and I told you guys that I really enjoyed it. If you guys have pores and you don't like like silicone based primers, check this one out. This is really nice and smoothing and long lasting. I found that my pores were pretty much diminished than what they usually look when I don't use like a pore primer. But this one looks really nice. I would definitely recommend this. This is another one of my favorites, really smoothing as well. This is the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer by Urban Decay. I also really like this one. Um, this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. This is also really nice and smoothing. And then I also really like this little mini of the Tatcha on um, the silk canvas. This is also pretty smoothing. I don't know if you guys can tell that I like smoothing primers, but this is one that I would like. I would definitely purchase like during a sale. I feel like the big one's kind of like a lot of money, so I would actually buy a mini after finishing this one up. And then another primer that I really like is this one, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. Um, this is pretty expensive, but if you can get a deal on it, why not and pick it up? This also kind of like smooths my skin and also hydrates the skin. This is really nice, but we're going to pick this one for primer this week. I really like this. And up here, a high-end mascara. I really like this Tarte Lash, um, Lights Camera Lashes. It reminds me of the... Essence one that I like the black two with the green lettering So I think I'm gonna take that because I do have other high-end mascaras like this benefit roller liner It's not one of my favorites. I don't I'm not a big fan this it cosmetics I find that it's a little clumpy, so I wouldn't really recommend those but I do like this one again the Tarte lights camera lashes, so we're just gonna take this and then for concealer um, we use the Too Faced ones I would recommend this one, the Urban Decay Naked Skin, if you want coverage but like not too heavy under the eyes. Um, this is a really good one to pick up. I also really like the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I have mine in the shade Toast. I really like this concealer. Actually, I really like this one as well and I haven't used this. So let's pick this one instead. I'm going to use this Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. This is in the shade Light Warm. This is really nice and like hydrating on the under eyes and I also find that it does give me some coverage as well. So we're going to take this one. I really like this one. And if you want something more like higher coverage and this one's actually not doesn't look as heavy i do find that it's like a thicker formula than the smashbox one but it's still a really good concealer we're just gonna put those away but those are a few of the concealers that i do like and brow pencils i'm not a big fan of brows but abh is probably one that you'd want to try out and pick up during a sale just to kind of save a little money on a lot of people love this brow pencil it's okay, it's not one of my favorites brow pencils. I would definitely recommend the Benefit. That little mini I have, what is it called? Mm, this one. I like this, the Gimme Brow. I like the Benefit Gimme Brow just because usually pencils don't really fill in my brows with that great, but the Gimme Brow kind of helps uh, my lashes look fuller, so I would definitely recommend the Gimme Brow. But we're going to take this brow definer, and I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. And I think that's it from in here for high end eyeshadows. Ones that you can pick up that I really enjoy again are the Huda Beauty palettes. I would definitely recommend you guys picking those up. I do love the Topaz and Ruby. Um, I do like the Emerald one, but it's not my favorite just because I wish it had more like darker greens. No, I feel like I need another green matte green in here, but. 
This one's not one of my favorites from the ones that I have, but I do like it. I also like the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This one's really good as well. If you're into these kinds of tones, like reddish, purplish tones, you'll really like this palette. It's really pigmented. It is more on the expensive side, but with the discount, I feel like it's good. I actually want to take a really expensive palette. I've used it a handful of times, and I actually want to use this. This is the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. This is definitely one, if you're eyeing it, pick it up during a sale just because it's so expensive. So this is what the inside looks like. I really wanted this palette. I wanted a palette from Pat McGrath, something that I would use. This is a $125 palette. Is it worth $125? Ooh, I don't know. I would probably have to tell you guys in my review once I keep on using it. But these glitters for sure are something else. And look how pretty they are. They're like dual chromey. The bottom has like a gold shift. And the top one is like a yellow green color. Super pretty. And I have gotten compliments every time I've used both of those. But I feel like if you're wanting like a Pat McGrath palette, something that's high end. Getting it on sale or getting a discount is definitely something you'd want. $125 is a lot to spend on the palette for it to just sit and look pretty, you know, but and then I don't like that you get this little slit with the names of the shadows. Like, what if I didn't have this and I lost it and then I wouldn't even know what the shadows are called. I wish it was kind of like in the back, but this packaging is super heavy. You're getting your money's worth in with the palette and these beautiful shades here. So again, I'm going to take this palette to use this week. Actually, another palette that I would recommend you guys getting is this one by Natasha Denona. I have some of the bigger palettes back here. I have the gold and then I also have the blue purple one. Th those are super nice formula. I also really like the formula of these mini ones. This mini one is the mini nude. This one's really nice. I did try Sunset and I didn't like it, but this one I do really like. But let's pick this as well because this is one of my... Um, from the two minis that I've picked up, I really enjoy this and I have mentioned this in a favorites video. So we're going to go ahead and use this as well this week. And I thought I was done, but I still need to pick lip products. So we're just going to go ahead and pick some lippies from in here. What are some of my favorite lip products? I don't buy a lot of lippy products <laughs> after I have all of these. Like, I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm saying, right? Like, I don't have any lipsticks. I don't buy that many lipsticks. But look at all this. <laughs> I really like this one, but this isn't available anymore. And I actually got this from Ulta, so I don't even know if Sephora carries this. I really did enjoy this by uh, Nude Stick. This is the Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Burgundy. This is a really nice one. Pretty much drugstore. Color Pop, you know, like this one I got from Marshalls. Um, Pop Beauty, Pixie, Wet n Wilds. Like I bought a lot of these lipsticks from, from Marshalls, but you can buy them at Sephora and Ulta. Stevie, I don't think I've used this. So lipsticks, I don't have very many that I'd recommend. Recommend, but this one looks pretty. So we'll take this one. You can definitely pick this up at Sephora during the sale, I think. Um, but check out like Marshalls because I picked this up for like seven dollars and. Um, Sephora actually has them for like 20 bucks full price. Oh, these Pat McGrath minis are nice. Um, let's go ahead and pick one of these too. This one is... And I like the 1995. Um, they do have like a trio set by Pat McGrath and they're $25. Um, but we're going to take this lipstick. And again, it's kind of like a nudish color. This is super pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. I really like this little trio set. And I honestly don't finish up a full size lipstick. So we're going to take this for lipstick this week. I thought I was done again, but I'm not. I need to pick a foundation. So the Cover FX uh, Power Play foundation is really nice. It has like medium to full coverage. Um, and I really like how this way look this foundation looks. It doesn't look heavy at all. Another one of my favorites is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. It has a really beautiful like satin matte finish. And again, medium to full coverage, that's nice. Um, those two would be a couple that I would recommend. I don't have that many high-end mascaras. I pretty much have more like affordable because I also have this Makeup Forever. I have this NARS Radiant Foundation. And I have this Bare Minerals one as well. I'm finding that I buy more like 
affordable foundations and high end. Um, if you're wanting something full coverage and your skin looks airbrushed and really smoothing, um, this one by Urban Decay, the All Nighter, is nice as well. Mine's in the shade 4.0. I do find that it's a little too heavy for my liking for everyday use, but there's some people that do like full coverage foundations every day, so I would definitely recommend that one. I think for foundation this week, we're going to go ahead and pick this one by Fenty Beauty. This one is nice. It's kind of like a matte finish, and it is pretty much like medium to full coverage as well, but I haven't used this in a while. Um, I don't remember loving it that much. It's okay. I do find that it was more on the lighter side for me, so hopefully it matches okay. But we're going to take this for foundation this week. And then for setting sprays, I would definitely recommend the Urban Decay All Nighter. I know what the hype is on this now. Usually for sprays, I usually just grab, take the cap off and spray it. But what I've been doing lately is kind of like shaking the bottle up and then spraying it on my face. And I noticed a big difference using the All Nighter. I think that's all I really have because I don't think Max at Sephora. I really like the matte version of the Fix Plus as well, but Max not at sephora again so what i'm going to do is take the urban decay all nighter again just because this is a vib sell recommendations video so i'm going to pick products that you can buy at sephora so i'm going to do a quick rundown my urban decay setting sprays right here i did swatch um my liner the stila deep fuchsia is that one this one is the maple by bite beauty that i haven't used this one's stevie by abh this is the nude stick in the shade burgundy this is 1995, that mini Pat McGrath lipstick, and then that was just still the swatch from the It Cosmetics. So you guys know the usual lipsticks, mascara, um, liners, brows are in here. Um, complexion products are usually in here as well. So this is what the drawer is looking like. And then the last drawer is like my eyeshadows. I also have the Chloe Malika palette in here, and my bronzers in here, and the Pat McGrath on the bottom. And those are all the products I'm going to be taking this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.